Let's Talk Gardening is proudly brought to you by Effecto. Effecto, garden and home pest control. Welcome to Let's Talk Gardening. My name is Andre Bimre. We're looking at our vegetable patch today. It's looking absolutely amazing. However, I've got a bit of damage on some of the plants and it appears to be snails. And over there, it looks like I've got some insects attacking some of our veggies. We need to get that under control. I've got some beautiful eco products that I'd like to talk to you about today and we'll show you how to use them as well. Effecto have a gorgeous range of products branded as eco. The reason they're branded as eco, they are environmentally responsible or they contain no pesticides at all. Here we have a trap for snails and you simply add yeast and sugar and that works absolute treat. Then we're going to look at eco insect control which is one of the products I'm going to use in the vegetable garden. Mold repellent, at the moment I don't have a use for that, but this is a great product, particularly down the Western Cape where you have lots of mold problems. This product will certainly chase the molds to your neighbor. So Eco Fruit Fly Bait is a product I'm going to use because my pear tree is in flower and we need to control those pesky fruit flies. Then lastly, Eco Fungi Mite. Now this is a dual action product. It not only controls mites, but it certainly controls fungus as well. So it's a great product to have in your arsenal. Now the Effecto Snail Trap contains two actual traps. So we're going to bury them about halfway. Now to attract the snails, we, you have two choices. You can either use beer and sugar, because beer already contains yeast, and snails love yeast. Or you can simply use a sachet of dried yeast Make that up, mix it with water, add sugar to it, about a tablespoon of, of sugar, and pour that into the trap. That will work just as well. Big, dig the hole, and we're gonna go around halfway. Now this is the area where I've seen the snail activity, so I know I'm gonna attract them and get them in that area. So it's as simple as pouring a bit of beer in there, or as I said, yeast with sugar, Put the little lid on so you stop evaporation. The snails will get attracted to that. They'll crawl in and they won't be able to get out again. So we've got one more to place. There's a lot of snail damage on my borage plants over here. So I'm going to bury this trap right next to them. Just like that. There goes our yeast and sugar mixture. You recover it up stop it from evaporating. Bam! Job done! Let's catch some snails. To control the fruit flies on the pear tree, I'm going to use Eco Fruit Fly Bait. Now it's a very simple procedure, but it's a very sticky substance to work with. You need between 20 and 100 milliliters on 400 milliliters of water. Now this is a 20 ml measure, and as you can see, it's quite a syrupy substance. So I'm gonna pour that into this little tub. Beauty about this product, you can spray it onto the tree, but you need quite a coarse droplet. So I find to use a coarse brush or big paint brush works really well. In my case, I'm going to use a little dust brush. It's highly unlikely that it will have any effect on bees at all. So it's a lovely product to be able to use. So we simply pour in, there's 400 milliliters of water in the jug. We're gonna pour that in, and then we're going to mix that up. Now this requires quite a bit of mixing. Here's my little brush. I hope my wife doesn't see this. Okay, so that's all mixed. I've got that really nicely done. Now we're gonna go across to the tree. We're gonna start to meet above the ground and we're gonna make quite nice coarse droplets on the tree and that will attract the little fruit flies. So all you need to do, the meat above the tree, just give it a bit of a splash. Nice coarse droplets, that's why you need a big brush. Whenever you use insecticides on edible crops, a very important factor is to look at the withholding period. Now that's indicated on the label and it simply means from the time of last application to the time of harvest. That's the period you should not be eating that fruit or vegetables. Now, Effecto's range of eco products shortens that period and it certainly gives us some great options. Thank you for watching Let's Talk Gardening. Please join us again on the next one. Let's Talk Gardening was proudly brought to you by Effecto. Effecto, garden and home pest control.